Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is the crack of dawn, no joke. We got up early for something super special and fun today and we're gonna take you guys along with us. We are here at our destination. I found two bath bombs. We came someplace you guys are not expecting because I kept it a secret. It is cold. We are far up north. We and need to bring our horses here. Come on. Yeah, look. Look at this path. Wouldn't it be great to ride our horses down there? There goes horse Gabby. We are at the wolf sanctuary. I can't walk. My legs are dead. It took us it took us forever to get here. Sophie's wearing her new hoodie that she bought. It is cold here. You're already shopping? Did you bring your bank card? They are adorable. I didn't bring my bank card. But yeah, I surprise. My with the money in it. Oh. Yeah, I love it. You need It's either like going to be red or black. You're going to pay for it though. <laughs> Because my purse with all my money is in the car. Alright, so we are at the wolf sanctuary and we are hopefully going to get to see some wild wolves. Look at that moose. A wolf just like that. It looks so real. But yep, stopped. 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 So is this, this is a wolf? Look at this wolf family over here. So we're gonna oh, get to go out. Oh my god, look at the baby. Oh my that god. Looks I want a wolf baby. Look at how adorable. My favorite one? Mom, my oh. favorite one is that red one right there. I love red wolves. Just wait, can you I don't know if they can see the babies. Oh yeah, there's a baby. Oh look at the baby. Would you wanna wear one of those? No. no. They're hung by their nose. How come you wouldn't wanna wear it? Cruel, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what's even more cool? They're hung by their noses. Yeah, which that's mean. Bothers me the most. Yeah, but it's not cruel if they went out in the woods and they found a dead wolf and they skinned it. It's only cruel if they if they kill, if they kill them for their pelt. One. This is Gabby's favorite wolf. And no, darker red though. Oh yeah, and the darker black red. One. That is the freakiest thing on earth. Oh, look at all the bones, you guys. You see the bones? Mm -hmm. So do you increase their, what you feed over the winter to? Absolutely, yeah. So if it gets really cold uh, and much colder temperatures, we'll increase their food amount and it's to encourage them to cache more. So they'll bury it in the ground, caching it for later. So if it gets colder, we'll add more food to their normal, their normal schedule. Absolutely. <laughs> Maybe next, next spring, we'll see. Ooh, did you see her? She's like, you get away from me. So that's Luna and she's eight years old. And 
And she's had how many babies? 22 kids and seven. 22 kids and seven. Oh, she's gonna pee? No. You came, uh, Gabby. You mm -hmm. Are you glad you came? Are you glad you came? So, they're not wild. They're about to run. Right. They are captive born, captive bred. They are nothing without their caregivers. Right. Well, so, like it's yeah, a squirrel. We're, not, we're, we're observing them in a wild, somewhat wild scenario. But it's controlled environment. To a degree. Yeah. 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 Like if they need vet care, they're getting it. Oh, okay. You know, okay. and that's the thing, because that, again, they're not wild. They're all, yeah, it's like they're, it's weird they how smell they all... Four, they smell four miles through the forest. They hear six miles through there. Oh, one's running. There oh, they go. Jump over that long, uh, if you are a true direction. Mom, that was like. Oh, so she stayed back. That's interesting. She's like, they're and leaving. And then she's the using her nose and in her ears. And the leader goes. The leader always stays behind. Gabby's like, I'm so used to twilight that I thought they'd be bigger. <laughs> They're a lot bigger when you're standing up there with them. And you do know, like, twilight's fictional, right? Yes. It looks so fake. We are getting ready to leave. We got to watch a little video, but literally, I could just stand here and watch them forever. I feel bad that they have to be in captivity, even if they work really hard to make their habitat as close to realistic as possible, because they are held in captivity in an enclosed 15 acre parcel of land. Um, they do get like vet care and stuff when they need it, but it seems like all they do is just sit here and wait to be fed and that seems sad to me. Like it just seems like, I mean, even with horses and stuff, it seems like we take so much from them. Like the ability to hunt and provide for themselves, not rely on us. That it was an amazing learning experience for us. That's the head honcho right there. She's eight years old. The head of the whole entire pack. Only the head alpha female has babies. So she probably only about a 50% mortality rate with every litter. So maybe only three pups live each year. Amazing. So we are at the we are at a restaurant. Another sign. Oh my gosh. Gabby keeps seeing signs that she's gonna buy Lily. Mmm. Hot hamburgers, fries, and veggies, chicken Caesar wrap. This is my lunch. I got a burger and fries. They got nothing. Because they didn't bring any money. <laughs> Last one said. So Sophie got fries and chicken fingers. Gabby's still waiting for her supper. The last one, her lunch. Last one to eat. Always the last one.
her grind when she was like a Good ice cream. Boy, I don't know what happened, but I come home and the ponies are out. The ponies are out and I don't see look the ponies are out. I don't even know where Stella is. <laughs> now I have to try and get them. They've been out eating grass. Okay, I don't know how this happened, but all the ponies are loose. Oh, and they're coming to me. They're coming to me. They got loose and now they're coming to me. Good boy, Finny. Um, not Finn. Oh my gosh. Come to me and they're back in the... They're just coming with me so nicely. I can't believe it. I close this door before they escape. So both the ponies were out there eating grass all by themselves. And, uh, and the big horses were all alone in the barn. Now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put these horses. Uh, because they all can't go together. So, yeah, I don't know what to do. Willow, you can't be eating grass, my girl. You can't be eating grass. You're going to be so fat and chubby. <laughs> You can stay in there for now. Okay. You can stay in there for now. Okay. okay, I got I got Willow in a stall, storm stall. I got Gracie in Finn stall. You're okay. Let me go turn on the lights. Oh, she's not used to a stall. So I got them in their stalls and Gracie is not used to a stall, that's for sure. But I need to get the big horses out before I can put them all back into the barn. Interesting. Very interesting, right? Right, Finn? Are you ready to go outside? I'm going to take Finn out first. freaking out. He's running like a wild man. He wants his buddy. Settle. Whoa. Whoa, Finn. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> He's just freaking out. He's bucking and running. I better go get his buddy. Army, I'm coming for you. He's still freaking out. Maybe I should have put... Storm out first. All right, this is not going too well. I opened the gate to put Storm in. Now he's freaking out. And Finn ran into the barn. <laughs> Just wait, Storm. Holy. These horses are wild. Uh-oh. Come here, Finn. Let's get you back out there in the field. What are you doing? Success. Success. I got them into the field together. 
That was a chore. Now I gotta go put the, all the girls back out. And the only one that actually behaved herself, take a wild guess, Stella. Stella's the only one that behaved herself. Hey Stella, you're the only one that behaved yourself. Don't worry, I have the little ponies out there in a sack. You ready, Willow? You ready? You ready to go out? Are you ready, Finn? Um, I keep calling you Finn. You ready, Gracie? You ready to get out? Ready to get out? All right. Let's try this. to figure out another way to fix this problem we wouldn't have this problem if our shelter was built outside and the horses could go out there in the rain so hopefully that shelter will be built very soon because we need it and Laura and the girls are not even back yet from their little trip to the wolf sanctuary. I even asked if they could bring me a puppy wolf. I would love to take care of a puppy wolf. Yeah. Anyways, success. I've dealt with the problem. Everything's good. None of them got run over by a car, that's for sure. <laughs> Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.